निफ्टी टच 20,200 एट इज हाईएस्ट वी कैन फॉल टू नाइनटीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड विद इन अ स्पेन ऑफ टू वीक्स सच वॉज अ ब्रूटल फॉल इन निफ्टी एंड एट अ सेंसेक्स लेवल एंड यू कैन से इन लास्ट टू वीक्स देर इज लिटरली मे हेम एट एवरी लेवल देर इज अ बिग सेल ऑफ कमिंग नाउ इज इट अ स्टार्ट ऑफ अ बिग सेल ऑफ फ्रॉम हियर दैट इज वॉट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लॉट ऑफ ग्लोबल डोमेस्टिक इंडिकेटर्स एंड इंडियन इंडिकेटर्स ऑल्सो एंड ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वेदर द बिग सेल ऑफ इज स्टार्ट or it is just a temporary dip in the long bull run so friends welcome everyone my name is siyat apandush i welcome you to my youtube channel please click the below link and do subscribe to our channel and please type in the comment box how you are participating in this sell off are you buying stocks or you are just waiting to get it stabilized so let us talk in detail about market first so talking about market guys I want to talk about global situation currently. Why there is a big spike in the interest rate, and again, why there is a big sell-off at the equity level. Talking about global indices, guys. First, I want to talk about US. You know, US is the mother of all stock market. US market that is Nasdaq, Dow Jones, literally rule the world market. And talking about them, actually. the whole sell off has started from there only you can see the dow jones and nasdaq has fallen a lot in last two weeks which is having an impact in indian market also now what is the reason why the there is a sell off at a nasdaq and dow jones level one of the primary reason is that interest rate actually everyone is saying that powell that is fed chairman may increase the interest rate in the next one month and that is why there is a big spike coming in the interest rate and you know interest rate at us level is one of the highest in last 15 years even the bond indices bond indices has touched 4 point at which is the highest in last one and a half for two decades such is a high interest rate going up the mortgage rate has gone above 5% to 6% above in us which is unsustainable and the fear which the market is having that if the interest rate remain high for a prolonged time it will impact a lot to the economy and us may go to a recession powell is already saying that yes i am going to increase the interest rate in at least one time and he is actually telling that okay market is taking it lightly we see powell is literally against market uh, powell is saying in different way and powell is nothing but uh, fed chairman they are saying that they want to tame down the inflation but market is not considering the market is thinking that yes this is the last interest rate hike and then the market uh, sorry then the interest rate will go down and that is what the market is discounting currently but somehow now market is also getting a sense that boss this interest rate will be on a higher side for a prolonged time maybe for uh, first half of 2020 24 also this is the fear which the market is having and looking at the scenario if you remember two months ago there was a situation where everyone was saying that interest rate cut may happen this year and only by the end of december people were expecting in at us level that there will be a cut in the interest rate but honestly that is not coming through the way the inflation is remain high at the us level again the jobless data is not giving any comfort to the fed see if the jobless data is not more that means people are getting job that means money is still circulating of course the covid time whatever big amount they have distributed no the government had distributed a big amount in uh, uh, among the citizen during the covid time that is biden government but still now they are saying that okay slowly and gradually that is going down but still you can see that jobless data is not increasing so that is one of the fear why you know the inflation is on a higher side again the inflation is quite sticky there other than retail most of the real estate are slowly gradually going down but when the impact will come in the inflation that needs to be seen another big factor which is impacting currently us is nothing but the oil prices you know oil prices literally reached to around 95 96 dollar and high oil prices will never never bring a uh, inflation down and you always have to keep this in mind even high energy prices that is oil prices at around above 90 is not at all good for india also yes i am going to talk about india afterwards but let us talk about us first so yes because of high oil prices oil prices now what is happening the inflation will remain on a high side that is what powell chairman is saying that in future maybe next one month two month we will able to see this high energy prices 
coming uh, that impact is coming into the inflation so that is what happening now the problem is that if the inflation remains on a such a higher side and if the interest rate also remain on a higher side because they have to increase the interest rate to bring down the uh, inflation then the regional banks at us level will be in a big problem you know already lot many banks already svb bank and all that bank you know republican and all these bank has gone bankrupt during that time it may happen that more regional banks may be in a problem but that future will tell uh, that uh, yes how the interest but yes it is negative for the banks yes if something like that happened then again the liquidity tab of uh, us government will open and also fed and then again the money will flow but till then there will be a tight monetary policy which i can feel will be there at a us level and this is not a good sign because if you see the dollar index is around more than 150 Five, which is a very very high even bond yield as i told 4.8 which is very high now if bond yield and uh, dollar index remains so high the money will flow back to the us economy and that is what hurting our developing countries like uh, india also so at a us level the thing is not so great slowly and gradually now dow jones also you know dow jones going down snp going down but now nasdaq is also having an impact of course it nasdaq was going up because of uh fang stock were doing well of course the artificial intelligence stock at the us level were doing quite well so these are some of the reason now why us is falling but you know when us falls the world market also in a problem so you can talk about europe also you can talk about europe in uk there is a very very high interest rate now their inflation at a more than 11 percent at touch and which is very very bad again you can talk about spain and lot many other countries italy they are in a deep deep trouble because of high inflation why this high inflation is happening one of the main reasons and as i told you is crude oil now russia is controlling the crude prices russia and opec correct and now i don't know how they are dealing with it but they are keeping the energy prices high which is having a negative impact to all these economies and that is having a very very bad impact now let us see how this impact will but they want to keep at a higher level oil prices so that indirectly the us is impacted and europe is impacted this is how russia is taking a revenge indirectly by controlling the oil prices now this is all political game we don't know what they are doing but uh this is uh, affecting the inflation across the land europe is in a, in a deep deep problem again if you talk about another country then let us talk about china you know china after the covid crisis the way they have done that uh, no zero covid policy which has literally backfired china economy uh, in a big way because of that what happened suddenly there was an economic slump in the china again after that what happened there was a slump at a real estate level you know evergrande issue again another uh, second largest uh, real estate company also filing for a bankruptcy and all these thing is not helping china government china government is doing everything to save their economy actually they have given a quantitative easing in between also they are trying to uh, control market and everything but now the things are out of control and that is having a big impact because see china china is a you can you know that it's the second largest economy and again it's like an hour from last two decades china is the only country you know which is actually helping the world to grow now it's a big elephant no if big elephant gets you no know, little bit retired or no or get injured then it will have a impact across the world and that is what happening china situation is not good people may say that yes yeah, china is in a problem then we will be in a beneficial part or no okay, we will be getting benefit and money will flow in india yes it may but a very bad china situation is not at all good for at a world level it's that you always have to keep in mind so that is like the very bad situation in pakistan and also not good for us because of then they start taking such a decision of which is against for you no know, against you can sovereignty and against you no know, integrity of all the countries and everything and that is what happens normally they take drastic steps so that is what a very bad china situation is also not good for us even another world
all situation is happening at uh, Japan level. You know the yen carry trade is at is the lowest uh, against the uh, yen is getting depreciated against the dollar a lot. You know that because of this uh, higher bond yield, dollar index is going up and up, and that is having impact in yen. And there also government is trying all the things to control this uh, yen carry trade, and that is also impact here to see because yen is been circulated across the world. So we have to see that how the government of uh, Japan is able to control all that. Now this was all about you no know, uh, USA, Europe, China, UK, and you no know, major countries. These are the major countries which is controlling the world economy. Now let us talk about India. So talking about India, our first and foremost villain is nothing but crude oil prices. If crude oil prices, just write it down if you want to write it down. If it is above 80, that is not at all good for us. If it is up below 60, then also it is not good for us. Actually, it should be between 60 to 75, not 80 also. 60 to 75 is the ideal situation where crude oil prices should be there. Because a higher crude oil prices will directly impact us. You know that 90% of our import is our, our crude oil prices and a crude oil and as a result of fiscal deficit is impacting a lot so whenever crude oil prices is going up our inflation goes up yes last one and a half year now we are taking benefit of cheaper russian oil now slowly and gradually that price is also going up so that you have to keep in mind so if crude oil remain at an elevated level that is not at all good normally whenever the crude prices goes above 80 19 or normally stock market correct actually this time it has corrected afterwards but normally it is not at all a good sign for indian economy because 90 percent of our oil is import only so yes main will is crude and because of that inflation you have to keep in mind another is fii you know that if the bond yield remain on a higher side of course lot of money will go from india back to us because there they are getting at 4.9 which is a good interest rate for them so why they will stay here so yes fii is going back because of this only because there the dollar is getting stronger and stronger again there is a double impact first of all if the dollar gets stronger and again the bond yield this will both will impact fii a lot and that's why money is going back to western countries so that is also not a good situation for india talking about our quarterly results and everything that is okay that was not at all a problem in last uh, quarter because result well overall good indian economy is in a good position indian economy is doing well and the way you know all the company result has came you no know, that gives us lot of confidence that yes indian indian economy is in a right path and overall system is also and the government also doing right things so that is not a problem but the problem remains that we have outperformed most of the countries in last two years we touch all time high you know 20,200 now there is a profit booking and because of that only nifty has gone from 20,200 to almost 19,400 so from here from here what i feel that unless and unless the situation at the western countries does not uh, get proper or not stabilized no indian market will not again touch all time high yes we may tell that re-election is coming next march and april uh if you want guys you can check out uh, we have uh, created one video on election also which are the top stocks to be kept in mind we'll give the link below but yes uh that you have to keep in mind the election is coming but i don't think that will have a big impact because already everyone knows that mr narendra modi is going to come back unless unless something surprise comes then the market will go on it may it may there may be a rally of maybe two three to five percent that's all nothing more in it but yes of course if he is not selected then there will be a down circuit but that chances are very less so talking about that only so what i want to convey is that coming months i think the global situation will have a much much impact on indian stock market and from here also if global market corrects we may also correct so from 19,450 something index may go to 19,200 or below 19,000 there are chances and nothing wrong in that see 20,200 it is almost three or four percent sell off which is a normal in market no we don't have to worry about and if you are long-term investor value growth invest i think this short type of no up and down will always be there so not to worry about that but what you can do anytime there is a fall in india market please go and invest in a good quality stocks because indian economy is going to grow a lot in next 10 years guys we'll be from fifth to third largest economy in the world and these are the situation or these are the golden 
chances now you are getting whenever there is a big fall in the market you shouldn't go and invest in these stocks because at that time only you are going in the stock at a much much cheaper level so keep always keep this in mind because you have to buy a stock when there is a blood in the market correct so see, taking the situation guys we may be falling little bit more from here but i don't think there is a big sell-off it's a temporary glitch in the long-term bull run in india so not to worry about that and stay invested and anytime whenever there is a fall in the market you can just go and buy the stock so that is what i wanted to convey here so hope i am able to make you understand the global and domestic indicators properly and how the impact will be in the market so just type in the chat box what you are doing in the current situation are you buying any stocks or not and guys if you want us to analyze any of the stock please write it down we'll always put it in the comment box we are always analyzing that stock and i'll specially create a video on that so thank you very much for joining guys see you soon next time stay in touch